Well, another Super Stakes has come and gone, folks, and it's culminated here tonight with the Open four-year-old final. The man of the moment was Tatum Rice, who rode hashtags and scored a 220. Congratulations to you, Tatum. Thank you. How did your ride feel tonight? Uh, it felt good. Um, I, I felt like we were pretty prepared coming into it, and um, the cows haven't really been that great the last couple weeks, and we had seven or eight that we liked, and we were just going to see how it went on the first horse and go from there, and they actually stayed back, and most of the cows stayed pretty comfortable, uh, which is unusual from how it's been going. Um, yeah. Well, the cows, as you say, the cows have been tough. Um, you were coming out in the second set. Uh, how did you feel your run went in con consideration of that? When you, what? Well, I think really good. Um, the horse was good. The first two cows were really good. On my second cut, a yellow cow that we really liked kind of jumped past me, and she just felt really uncomfortable. And I said right then to RL, I'm not going to – I don't want to cut her. Well, I worked the red, the little short, fat red cow second. She was really good. And when I quit her, they said the the brown mite, which we didn't really know, but the brown mite came back good on the first cut, or on the second cut. I turn around to cut her, and the yellow cow that had just worried me really bad starts walking out, acting good, and... I started to go with her, and then I didn't, and I was just kind of indecisive, and I didn't get the brown mite cut very well, and I felt like came pretty close to ruining the whole deal, but we we ended up getting cut still pretty close to the middle and, and getting by her, but I think if I had have gotten the third cow cut better, I would have had a lot better run. I always like to ask the winners, you know, if they had a good feeling coming into the event. Um, when when Bo won the Classic earlier, um, he said he really had a good feeling about it. Um, did you have um, that moment where you thought this could be it? Well, Bo's kind of crazy, so you can't base much on what he <laughs> says. But, but yeah, I did. I, I felt like my horse has been trying hard all week. He's been good, and he hadn't been hard to work. And so, so yeah, I had a good feeling. Now, you do realise you've kind of made Rice family history here because I think all of you, all of the professional Rice trainers have now won a major title in the Will Rogers. Yeah, I'm, I'm the last one. <laughs> How does it feel to do that? Uh, it feels really good. Yeah, it feels really good. It's an impressive family that you've got there. Well, I appreciate it. Now, um, tell us about your horse hashtags. I like the name, by the way. Uh, are you not, you're not a social media addict, are you? No, no. Um, the gentleman that owns him, Raul Garcia, bought him out of the sale at the fraternity when he was a yearling. Jim Hayworth actually raised him. Uh, Kara, Kara Brewer runs his breeding program. Um, they put him in the sale, and Raul bought him. And um, There's a gentleman from Venezuela named Oswaldo Solis. Who is, he's an agent for a couple of the Venezuelans that I've ridden for. Um, and he, he, we picked him out together. Oswaldo is the connection that I have to the other Venezuelans. And so they, they bought him in the yearling cell and he was named hashtags then. Okay. And we've had him ever since. Josh Drake started the, I say that, uh, he had had, they had ridden him before the cell, which we didn't know until after, but I believe Lindy Northcutt started him and rode him probably a month's worth. And then. We got him, and Josh Drake rode him his two-year-old year, and then I started when he turned three. What's he been like to train? Pretty easy. He, uh, None of them are easy, but he's been really good-minded, and he's feely, and he's just willing and wants to cut. He, he wants to be a good horse, and, um, and he has been. Now, you've won almost uh, $75,000 here tonight alone. Um, that'll bump up your $1.3 million. How does that feel? No, it feels good. And, of course, we've got to talk about Kennedy here. She just turned one. Tell us about her. Well, we had Kennedy during the Super Stakes last year. Uh, she's she's doing good. It's been a fast year. Yeah, she's your first one. What's it like to be training and having a one-year-old? 
Well, it's it's good. Um, it's it's definitely been different, but it's good. Busy? Busy, yes. Kylie's the busiest one. As always, thanks very much, and congratulations, Tatum. I appreciate it.